Hello YouTube and welcome to the next Tax Laws video. Here we are with our new Apple iPad Air. The smart cover is attached to it and we lift it and nothing happens. Why is that? Because we have not yet installed our new iPad Air. So we push the on off button on top of it. Pushing, pushing, pushing. And there we go. We get our Apple logo, our boot screen. And then we wait a couple of seconds. So, and here we are on the lock screen. So, hello world. Slide to unlock. And then we choose our language, English this time. Select your country or region. So, I choose Germany. And then choose a Wi Fi network. If you have a Wi Fi, open Wi Fi network you can connect with, then do the setup this way. Or you can connect via iTunes with your Mac or PC. Or if you have the 4G LTE version, you can do the setup this way. But here we choose our Wi-Fi, connect to our Wi-Fi. Next step are the location services, enable or disable them, I enable them. And then here comes the most important part, three different options you got. Set up as your new iPhone. If it's your first iPhone or if you want to have a clean start without any pre-installed stuff here from yourself, then choose this one. And then you got two choices for restoring a backup from a previous iPad, from your iPhone or even off from, from your iPod Touch. And then you got restore from iCloud backup. If you have stored this backup online at the, in the iCloud or second choosing, Restore from iTunes backup if you have stored the backup offline on your Mac or PC via iTunes. I this time choose Restore from an iCloud backup and then I have to sign in with my Apple ID into iCloud. Then I can choose from my different iCloud backups. I choose one and then I lean back and let the iPad work. This will take a couple of minutes and then the setup process will continue. We had to sign in again in our iCloud account, no problems here. And then it's asking for us for a security code. You don't have to give in a four digit code. So we just skip ahead and again. And there we are, we are done, but we are not really done. Settings have been restored on our iPad Air here, but there's one thing missing and there's uh, all the apps. So as uh, the iPad Air is now downloading again all your apps, and installing them and then you are back in the game. And there you can see the iPad Air is already starting downloading the first apps reader, the Chrome browser here. They are downloading them and then uh, uh, installing them and during the install process they are already downloading the next apps. So this will take a couple of minutes depending on how many apps you have, how big they are and how speedy your internet connection is. Uh, let's head over to settings. Let's see, uh, we got the 16 gigabyte version of the iPad Air and we have around 12 gigabytes left for all our apps. So this is not really much stuff, but for 85% 80, out there, this should be sufficient. Uh, what else? iOS 7.0.3, the newest version, is already installed on the iPad Airs. Of course, it's speedy, it's light, and the display seems to be dark, but this is just the, the setting pr process here. We can brighten up the display, and now this looks really, really nice here. We can now play around with this, be satisfied on how light this one is. We can put our smart cover back on it, and then enjoy our automatically standby mode. You hear the click. Wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep. So this is it. This is how to install your new iPad Air. Um, start playing around with it. Uh, start surfing, start downloading apps, start playing, start reading, start doing whatever you want and like with your new iPad Air. This is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.